How many of you knew that instead of trying to struggle and scrub in between these under your burners and eye, you could just simply lift it like the hood of your car. I started cleaning. I was like, let me do this video and see if anybody knows. And yes, it's icky. It's not as bad as I thought it was because my oven was way worse. And then um, to put it down, you just, if y'all know another way to put it down, let me know. But that's how I do it. Push that. See this little thing right here? Push that. Now it's that side down. It's like hydraulics. And now that side. And we'll simply let it back down. But we need it to stay up. All right. I sprayed up here. This is going to be icky. Look, I started scrubbing there and then I stopped to record. It's nasty. It's probably a bunch of grease. I'm glad I got a lot of throwaway sponges that I got from Remodels for a penny. Look at that. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's like built up grease and all kind of stuff. Because I've cleaned this before but never looked up. Just never did. All right. I got the eyes up here. The burners right here, which I need some replacements. I need to ask them to give me some replacements because this one looks the worst. Like you can push it. Look at that. It's just falling apart. But the other ones don't look like that. You know, they're not too bad. So I got them soaking with some detergent and some other solution on it. That's the little charcoal that I was talking about. Most of it is in the trash, so. Boy, this is gonna get half clean today. Yes, it is. But this stuff been sitting and sitting, so it's super thick. Super thick. I'm trying to get my stove right before Thanksgiving. Today's Sunday, October 22nd. I ain't trying to be trying to do all this the day before, even a couple days before. So I'm finna be way in advance, but it's not, it's gonna be some half cleaning because I ain't finna try to get every single speck off, just the majority of it. And I got this part, then I gotta get around these burners here. So we'll see how I go. I'm already out of breath. And I don't care nothing about changing the water just yet. Yes, this water is nothing but muddy and brown because all I'm doing is getting all the sticky and charcoal stuff off first. It ain't gonna make no sense to keep changing the water and it's gonna continue to be brown because that's what this substance is on the stove. It's brown. So once I do my final clean, then I'll change the water. And if the water is still brown, I'll change the water again because if it's still brown, and I'm doing my final clean, then that means I'm just spreading oil, grease, and dirt all around the stove. And it's really not clean. It just looks clean. So you see, people look at stuff all the time and think it's clean. You never know. Somebody could have cleaned something with muddy water. They just wiped it. See, you would think this is clean if I didn't show you the water, right? And it's not clean. I just got all the oil and grease up. That's it. This is dirty, filthy water. Do it kind of how you do your rice. You know how I keep rinsing my rice off until all the murky water is gone and it's the water's clear. So that's when I'm gonna change my water. When I'm almost done getting everything off and everything's not gonna be perfect because I'm not gonna go get something and scrub that off. I know I can, but I'm not doing all that. So get as much off as I can and feel back here some sticky stuff I can feel it with the sponge and I can feel what's not gonna come off like this that's not gonna come off that stain but the stuff that's gonna come off I'm gonna get it out of here and then I'll change my water and do one last wipe down wipe it down wipe it down shoulders chest pants shoes shoes pants 
detergent and just scrub, scrub, scrub. I can't really do it holding the camera, but you know, I get my point. I'm gonna have to hold this lid and get this part right here. Let's see how much I can get off. I think I did pretty good. I thought I had some more that oven cleaner. Well, it was grill cleaner, but remember I told y'all it did so good for my stove that I'm going to start buying it. I'm going to wait for it to penny again this year because it's coming up with that time. It's penny with lawn and garden stuff. And I'm going to get some more of that. I kept finding so much. I don't know where the rest of them at, though. They probably still in a bag in the stockpile room. I need to go look. Because that stuff did wonders for my oven when I cleaned my oven out. Yeah. So, I got the majority of that off right there. Which is good. Oh, the end. This is the best I could do for right now. For the first clean, I think I did pretty good. But in order to get everything up, I have to clean it again. And not let it get built up like that. I need some new burners, honey. Because especially this one right here. All right, y'all, that's it.